Okay, P2. Work EDU. The Occupation Technology Book. Now, it is the test from the review we did last time. So open your book to page 105. Okay? I'm going to ask you the question, and then you try to answer it, okay? Which of the following is the first step of making toys? A. Identifying problems or needs. B. Evaluation. C. Making a product. This is on page 96. I'll show you an example. So if you look on page 96, which one involves making a toy? You can see here, or even here, making on page 95, making toys. Which one is on the question here? Which of the following is the first step of making toys? Which one is it? Number two. Which of the following is a benefit of sketching your design? You draw your design first. A. Make your work take longer. B. Help plan your work carefully. C. Help evaluate your product. Number three. What is the following process you need to do, okay? So when you make the toy, how do you change it? Number three, A, sketching the design. B, assessment. This means checking your toy. C, you make your product. Number four, which of the following is skilled work? A, eating. B, Fixing a window. C. Drinking. Number five. Which tool do you use to cut wood? A. Pliers. B. Screwdriver. C. The saw. Which one do you cut the wood with? Okay, number six. Which of the following is the tool used for making the wood smooth? A, scissors. B, saw. Or C, sandpaper. Number seven. Which of the following is a work tool used to make a paper mask? A, thread. B, sticky tape. C, Scissors. Number eight, making toys from milk cartons shows that you have what type of creativity? A, original thinking. B, fluid thinking. C, detailed thinking. Number nine, which of the following is the result of detailed thinking. A, making toys that somebody else created. B, designing toys that no one's ever made. Or C, thinking about what materials you need to use. And number 10, which type of creativity thinking is applied when you use the magazine to make your mask? What kind of thinking am I doing when I use magazines to make a mask? A. Initial thinking. B. Fluid thinking. Or C. Flexible thinking. Okay? Now, I'm going to put the answer and you're going to check if you got it right.
So we go number one. Did you put A? Identify the problems. Number two. Did you put B? Number three. Did you put B? Number four. Did you put B? Number five. Did you put C? Okay, next page. Number six. Did you put C, sandpaper? Number seven. Did you put C, scissors? Number eight. Did you put A? Number nine. Did you put thinking about what materials to use? C. And number ten. Did you put flexible thinking? C. Okay. Thank you and have a good day.